How would we add multiple users at a time in Salesforce? There's several different ways. One of them is to use Data Loader. Users created with Data Loader will not have a password generated for them. To set up users using Data Loader, you'll need to have first name, last name, username, alias, email, and then the profile ID. Note that the profile ID is not the profile name, but instead a 15 character ID that is linked to each profile. But what about the license for each user? Well, the license when we're importing users using Data Loader is automatically assigned based on the profile that we give each user. Another tool that we can use to add multiple users at a time is simply the add multiple users feature. The limitation of this feature, however, is that it can only add 10 users at a time. When we are using the add multiple users feature, the email address will become their username and they must all have the same license type. We can specify the profile and the role for each user and the required fields are last name, email, role and profile. When we are adding users, it's important to be aware of the username. The username for every user in Salesforce must be in the format of an email address, but it doesn't have to be a valid or actual email address at all. It could be I am Sam at madeupcompany.com. Now that's not a real email address, but because it's in the format of an email address with the at symbol and the dot com, it's going to be fine as a username. Every user in Salesforce must have a unique username. This means that users can have the same email address for different logins. For example, you might have a user login for a dev org and a production org. Now, each of these I want to be using the same email address for so that I receive notifications and communications in the same place. But all I need to do is set up a unique username for each of those orgs. For example, my login for my dev org is my email.dev at the end. Then I just use my normal email to get all my notifications. Can we delete a user in Salesforce? No, we can never delete users but we can deactivate them. Why would we never delete a user? Well, let's say that John has been working at the company for the last 10 years, and he's done a really fantastic job as a sales rep. If we were to delete John, then when we went on records that he'd worked on in the past, we wouldn't even be able to see his name there. We wouldn't know who he'd talked to or how long he'd talked to them. And this can make it really difficult for new sales reps who are coming along and trying to pick up that relationship. It's much better if they can say, oh, you used to know John. He used to work for this company. That gives you a much stronger standing than having to start from scratch with a customer. This is why we never delete users, we only deactivate them. It gives us much more accurate records. Another option instead of deactivating a user is to freeze a user. Freezing a user stops them from logging in while we're working towards deactivating them. Why would we freeze a user and not deactivate them straight away? Well, we can't deactivate a user if they are the default owner of leads or cases, if they are the sole recipient of a workflow rule, or if they're used in a custom hierarchy. Deactivating a user will return their license to the overall pool in our Salesforce org and allow us to reassign that license to someone else. 